what is up guys welcome back to a new video here on the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to play beam ng online so a lot of you have probably heard of the game beam ng drive that's most likely why you came to this video um and you've been wanting to play with your friends and it is possible using the third party program beam ng which i'm going to show you guys today how to download so just go to the link in my description to beammp.com, click download client. It's going to download like this. It's not, or it is going to open a zip. You don't need any program to open a zip file. Don't worry. Um, you just open it and then you double click on beammp installer. And then just click your preferred language. Click OK. Accept the agreement. Click next. And this is up to you to decide if you want a desktop shortcut or not. Um, but it doesn't matter, just click next and then click install. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. Um, and after you've done this, you want to open up BeamMP. So it's going to look like this. After the processing is done, you just want to click launch like this. And also one thing I'm just going to mention, um, it's not difficult or anything. So these servers that you will join is going to have um, or some of them is going to have mods, some of them are not going to have mods. And if you and your friends play, uh, you're going to have all of you going to have all the vanilla stuff that's already in BeamNG. And you're also going to have um, any mods that are on the server. But there's actually a way that you can add your own mods to the server. So if you and, you and your friends install, for an example, let's say a, a Bugatti Chiron, um, both install it into your game as usual. You both have it in your game, the exact same one. It has to be, it's, it's not a Bugatti Chiron. You're gonna have to download it from the same link and everything. Um, then you guys can just spawn it as usual and both of you are gonna see it. If it is a mod that only you have and not your friend, your friend isn't gonna see it. So you're just gonna click multiplayer and I am logged in right now, which you're not going to be, so I'll be back in a second. So now I've logged out in uh, BeamNG, and uh, it's going to look like this for you guys. So you most likely don't already have an account, which you'll need to create. Or you could play as a guest. I recommend getting an account because it's just easier. You can favorite servers. You can go back to them if you found something like, oh, I like this track. I like the mods. Um, but you head over to this link right here. Uh, form.beamnt.com uh, and then you click login in the top right here uh, and then you just click create your account and then you will um, you just enter your email your uh, username that you want to use and a password then you go back into there may be a verification email um, sent to your email um, but you go back into BeamNG Drive and you input all that information in here. And I will be back in a second once that is done. Once you're logged in, it's going to look like this. You're going to have a bunch of servers here. There's also on the left here, public servers, featured servers, official servers. Official servers are from the BeamMP like development team or whatever, I think. They have a bunch of them. Uh, they are usually quite full, as you can see here. And they are completely vanilla, so there's no mods in here. So if you like that, you can go to official servers. Uh, then we have featured servers, which is uh, just I don't know really. I think with partnership with BeamMP, so they are shown or something. I don't know, uh, but it seems like these are RP servers and uh, cops and robbers. I have not tried that, so we're not. We're just gonna ignore these for now. And then you have public servers, which are hosted by basically anyone. You can host your own servers. I am not going to show you how to how you can host your own servers today because I don't think many people are going to be interested in that. And I just recommend at least beginning uh, as a beginner to just use any of these that are right here. And as you can see, these are not that full. But you shouldn't worry too much about the player count because, at least in my case, I don't really get frame drops. It does, my computer doesn't really react to if there's a lot of people in the servers. Um, so, like, I mean, if I if you have a 
worse computer than a current old one. Obviously, it may be more difficult, but not in my case. Uh, and not for many other people. So here, where you see it says any, you can also sort by empty, not empty, not full, and uh, mod size limiter, so you choose the amount of storage that the mod takes. Um, I'm going to discuss more of uh, like why that might matter later. Uh, you can search if there's anything like you can search for things like Pandora. It works. Uh, and then if you click any here, you can choose the, tr this is the track name. So let's say you want to drive an Imla. Uh, you're not going to see it, I think, on I. I don't think no, Imla isn't on I, and that is because it is a Kunos track. So if you don't Kun no Kunos, Kunos is the people that made a set of Corsa. It's a racing game, like a sim racing game. Um, and uh, the so if you go to KS, uh, we have five tracks here: Brands Hatch, Imla, Laguna Seca. Uh, this is the Nordschleife, Nordschleife, or uh, Nurburgring, and Spa. Um. So these have all been converted or imported from uh, a set of Corsa. And they, they are quite good. So I, I could recommend, if you want to use any of these five tracks, I recommend uh, joining a server that has these. Um, so let's say I, I want to drive at Imola. So I'm going to click Imola. And then we see here we have four servers. So I'm just going to click. So you can see here, this one is called race and you can click on it and you can read all the mod names. So this is the track and then there's self collision disabler, brake low, F4. This is quite nice because this one has uh, an F4 mod, G, uh, GT3 mod, graphics mod. Um, it has a radar mod. So if you're racing with your friend, you can get like a radar. So there's, uh, it's a, basically an app. I, I can show you like in, in game. Possibly, uh, but here you can see this is 623 megabytes. And if you go to one, we have another one. This is sim racing, and this is one gigabyte. But why does this matter? You may wonder. Um, it doesn't really. Um, I don't think it affects performance or any of that. Um, the only thing is the loading time to get into the game. Um, it takes longer. The bigger amount of mod size you have, or the the more mods, that, not the more, but the bigger uh, size mods take. Um, but yeah, they're qu quite similar. You can see this one has um, drafting, cobalt radar. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to enter this one, beam uh, race with Tyre and Slipstream. So this, that's, yeah, we can join a so here you're going to see connecting, and then it's going to say downloading resource. And this is what's, uh, what takes time. But I will see you guys in game. So we are now in game. Um, and the other guys left. I don't know why I got. Okay. This happens sometimes. Uh, the game just freezes, but don't worry. It will come back. Same when you spawn in cars. So let's go ahead and spawn in a car. You can use any car um, that you'd like. Let's just take, I don't know, let's take this. This is on uh, a lot of servers, the uh, Carbonworks F4. It's really good. It's an F4 uh, car or inspired car, um, and it's quite good. I really like it. This is really fun to race uh, race with against your friends. Um, but, yeah, uh, there isn't really that much more to show you guys. Uh, you can now play BeamMG Drive with your friends thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe leave a like on the video if you liked this and if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments i will try to answer as fast as i can goodbye hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us 